Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to my top 10 fan games of 2023. So many bangers this year, it was hard to pick 10. But as usual, this list is made of games I played this year in 2023. All the games mentioned will be linked in the description down below. So do go check them all out. Without further ado, let's jump right into this list. Number 10, we have Pokemon Eon Guardians. Eon Guardians is a completed fan game with lots of challenging post-game battles. You explore the beautiful Terrain region and get chosen by the Eon duo to help save the region from Team Gaia. A feature I really love in this game is there are these like trainer talents that add some cool abilities, like add improved accuracy so my Hydro Pumps were never missing, and there's a whole bunch to discover. The game also has over 50 side quests which were really enjoyable, without spoiling too much there's a character you'll meet, I believe in a well for the first time, but you'll have some very fun interactions with them. This game was an absolute blast to play. From just exploring the areas, doing side quests, and seeing how the main story unfolded, definitely check this game out. Number 9, we have Pokemon Floral Tempest EX. This game is so awesome, has some decent difficulty to it, and a very dark story. You and your two friends set out on a journey from the orphanage, and shortly after, you're running the Team Blight, who are up to no good, obviously. <laughs> your first encounter with them, you get absolutely destroyed, and they kidnap a gym leader. The thing I love about this game is you get that sense of being powerless against the bad guys, but as you journey on, you feel stronger and stronger, then you start whooping their butts. I love the areas in this game, every place just felt super unique and had its own theme. Also the game has custom Megas, and you'll see this Pokemon a lot in this list, but Zorok's Mega is so cool, I absolutely love it. If you're looking for a badass game with a bunch of awesome characters, definitely check this game out. Number 8, Pokemon Tectonic. Tectonic is a completed fan game and I believe since I last played it has been updated to 3.0 with some new Pokemon post game and other features, so even better when I last played. But this game has tons of new features like the Master Dex that is a much better Pokedex, an aid kit so you have to keep running back to the Poke Center, an XP easy dispenser so you don't waste no experience gain because this game has level caps, and a bunch of new Pokemon regionals, my favorite being Gigalith which is so badass, it's like a cool alien. I think my favorite thing about this game is the avatar battles that are like raids and are super fun and give you a very good challenge. Also, every Pokemon is viable. I love their motto, no Pokemon left behind, so you can use whatever you want. But if you're up for a very good game with some decent challenge to it and lots of avatar battles, definitely give this game a go. Number 7, we have Pokemon Adventures Special Chapter. Every update to this game, it gets better and better. It's based on the Adventure Manga series, but with tons of original content. You get to follow Red through the Ori region, but the trip gets super dark and depressing real quick. If you play the Red Chapter ROM hack, you'll know exactly what to expect. I actually feel so bad for Red playing through this, he is just not having a good time. But not only does this game have Red's adventure, you can play through different stories like green, blue, yellow, pink, which are all also equally depressing. But it is actually really cool to see what the other characters were up to while we were playing as Red. So if you like the Adventures Mongus series, the chances are you'll like this game, so go give it a play. Number 6 we have Pokemon Flux. Flux is an absolutely gorgeous game with some of the best designed Fakemon and characters. The original Zora, definitely my favourite. It's made by the developers of Uranium, so you know this is going to turn out to be one of the best fan games. For the story, you travel through the Altera region as one of three characters, learning about the Flux energy and the powered up Alter Pokemon. You have access to a new mechanic, Flux Moves, which are like powered up moves which are customizable by buying new moves from one of the Flux machines available. Currently episode 1 is only available and I cannot wait for this game to be updated because it is so, so good. But if you decide to play it right now, this during this month of December, there is a mystery gift and you get a cool regional Nidoran, so go and get that. Number 5 we have Pokemon Soulstones 2 Time Wardens. Over 800 new regional forms, don't need to convince you more? Well, lots of new Megas, a large region to explore with tons of side quests, a great cast of characters, Caitlyn being my favourite, you'll know exactly why when you first meet her, and a banger story, which makes sense as this is a heavily story driven game. You don't have to play Soulstones 1 to play this, but if you do, some events are a little bit easier to understand, but the game gives you enough knowledge to uh, just progress normally playing through Soulstones 2. The main story is currently completed with the post game being worked on and I cannot wait for this, as the little teaser you get after you finish in the main story is very interesting. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it is so, so cool. So give it a go and try not to get consumed by the anomalies because they are very dangerous. Number 4 we have Pokemon Myth. Myth is a completed fan game with more post game to come. It features lots of new Fakemon, Regionals, Evolutions, Evolutions, Zorak easily being my favourite regional in the game. 
I love the use of legendaries in the story and the fact it feels like you're fighting many different fights at once with different evil teams on top of your own journey. I love the build up of lore for the game's own Fakemon uh, legendaries as well and the supporting characters are badass. And the fact they use like legendaries mythicals is so awesome. The game also has a new gimmick, infusion types. You can infuse your Pokemon's DNA with type specific DNA which will add a boost to the moves. So I honestly cannot wait to jump right back into this game when the post game is done because I just feel like there's so much more adventure to be had. It's a really solid game and I think you should definitely try it out. Number 3 we have Tales of the Outskirt Stand. A fan game based on the Pokemon Coliseum series? Yes please. The game's not very long as it was made for the Relic Castle game jam, but the 4 hours or so you get is awesome. You start the game off by crashing your bike and awakening the outskirts stand, where you get taken in by the owner and start on a few jobs here and there, but as the game progresses, you'll get to travel to some places in the Ori region, meet Team Snagum, Cypher, catch tons of shadow Pokemon, and maybe see a special Pokemon like the Lugia from XD Gale of Darkness. I love fan games that continue on a story from the official series and this one is an absolute treat. So if you love Colosseum and XD Gale of Darkness, do yourself a favour and play this game because you're going to love it. Number 2 we have Pokemon Empyrean. The final update for the completed version is now out and this was already one of my favourite fan games so obviously with more content I'm going to have to put it on this list. The amount to do in this game is insane and the post game was absolutely fantastic. It really added to the whole story, especially with the different endings. This game is so jam packed full of content, it has custom mechanics, moves, abilities, items, new regionals, evolutions, fakemon, mega evolutions, fusions and big badass boss battles. Honestly to me this has got to go down as one of the best fan games ever created and I really hope you guys try this game out because it is so, so good. And my number one fan game of 2023 is Super Pokemon Eevee Edition. This game was so fun to play through. The battle system is like the old Final Fantasy style where you control 4 at once, all turns based on a timer, and you can unlock summons which are legendary Pokemon. It's awesome! The story of the game is about trying to stop the Hypervisors, who are essentially gods of your world, from upgrading to Generation 3. And you'll do this with the help of your special Eevee, who can evolve and change to any evolution at will. This is honestly one of the best fan games I've ever played and there's so much to do in it. The side quests are really cool and the boss battles are insane. Like I really hope you give this game a go because it is one of my favourites. So there we have it, my top 10 fan games of 2023. Hope you all enjoyed and will try out some or all of these games. Let me know what your favourite fan game is or your top 10 in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys all in 2024.